In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top five tips to improve overnight in Madden 21 on the offensive side of the ball. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel is all about teaching you how to get better on both the offensive and the defensive side of the ball. I upload tips and tricks every single day um, around this subject. We typically do about four videos every day, and we also live stream every single night. So new videos go live every day at uh, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, and then I live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you're interested, go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so I want to talk today about my top five tips for you. I want to jump right in. Tip number one is to simplify your offense. My personal opinion is you cannot and you should not try to run a offense where you're going to need to run 15 million different formations. It simply is very difficult to make that effective long term. It's very difficult for you to master the reads and the progressions of that offense. And so that's why I like to recommend running two to three formations at max for your standard offense and then you might have a special little red zone offense or short yardage type of situation but you really want to try to simplify your offense that 80 20 principle figure out what are the 20 percent of the plays that i'm going to be calling that are going to produce about 80 percent of the results i've been trying to do that in my own system and game plan because sometimes whenever you play a lot of madden we're kind of at the point in the season where you know it's time to kind of start to refine your craft a little bit we're kind of heading into the the back end of the madden season here um, where it's really going to be starting getting even more competitive because everybody's starting to figure out what is super super effective and what's been effective for months but it doesn't mean that the effectiveness changes and so it's all about figuring out what is effective simplifying it down to maybe two to three plays um, or two to three formations I apologize and you know I typically run about 20 plays or so I'm reminded of the Indianapolis Colts offense they were known for really keeping it super super simple on the offensive side of the ball and that's part of what made them so effective so simplify your offense is tip number one Tip number two is to read grass and not receivers. This is something that has taken me a ton of time to master, and I think it's truly one of the things that helps me. And whenever I'm passing the ball at a really high level, I'm doing this very well. Whenever I'm not passing the ball at a very high level, I'm actually doing this very poorly. But basically what I'm talking about is reading grass, not receivers. So you want to look to, you know, where is your defender actually going on the field, or where is your receiver actually going on the field, and looking to the space in which he is going to then take so for example if i'm reading a streak route i'm not necessarily going to be looking at where my defender is or where my receiver is i'm actually looking to where he's going to end up and i find that even though that sounds like a very simple tip most people don't do it and it's super super helpful for a lot of people so i would recommend it and again i don't do it right all the time what we have a tendency to do especially in madden is we will lock on to receivers and we will literally stare down the receiver that is something that it will never ever be effective and will always get you in trouble so what i'm talking about like right here i'm looking at the wheel route so i'm looking out to the outside space is there a defender in that grass area after i stamped the ball there wasn't so i'm able to hit the wheel route for a simple little game the next tip I have is do not hold turbo immediately. This is more for running the ball, but let me show you what I'm talking about right here. So if I hold turbo on an instant, it's actually going to make the defense oftentimes block shed. It also prevents me from having the ability to make sharp cuts like that in the backfield or different things like that that can kind of set up different running plays. So I also apply the same principle to passing. Whenever I catch the ball, oftentimes don't hold turbo um, until later on in the actual play to kind of help a little bit with that um to, to kind of help a little bit with that that reality there so again don't hold turbo immediately i recommend you know kind of holding turbo after you've kind of had a step or ability to gather yourself the other thing is when you're running the ball i would recommend not holding turbo until you're actually through the line of scrimmage that way you don't have to deal with any of those random block shots now, really quickly, guys, I want to share with you another super effective way that can help you get better on the offensive side of the ball. I actually have a text message membership. You'll see at the top right-hand corner of, or the left-hand corner of your screen, I have my cell phone number right up there. So you can always feel free to text me. And we actually give out free Madden 21 uh, schemes every single week in our text message membership uh, completely for free. We share on offense and on defense as well. These are about an hour long. We've broken down things like this formation that you see me run. 
running. We've broken down uh, the ace slot offset, the split close, the gun bunch, pretty much any effective offensive scheme in Madden right now. We have broken it down in our text message membership for you guys. So if you want to get access to those videos, literally all you have to do is just shoot me a text message. My phone number is 812 216 Three six four four. So I would highly encourage you to go ahead and take advantage of that. All right, the next tip that I have for you is to swerve catch everything. And what I mean by that is to user catch everything. Don't just allow the computer to taste, to um, put you into bad scenarios and bad animations. Literally click onto the receiver and make sure that you are, are user catching it so you're always giving yourself an opportunity um, to make a play. I highly, highly recommend that. Like even on this post route, even though he's wide open, I literally clicked onto the receiver and made the user catch myself. I think that is super, super important. I really believe that that is actually one of the secret tips that can really take your game to the next level. It's one of the things that all the pro players do that some of the beginner players don't either maybe know how to do or they don't do it all the time like they should. So my recommendation is to always be clicking onto the receiver and always be making um, a play, a user catch of some sort. Okay, so that's that's a huge, huge tip right there. And then the last tip that I have for you, number five on our list, is to use effective routes. Um, in my opinion, it is very, very easy to try to get a little bit romantic with your offensive scheme, or maybe you don't know some of the most effective routes in the game, but simple routes that you have at your disposal that you can always be putting on your field, in my opinion, makes a huge difference in offense. It, it makes your offense better. And what I mean by that is using things like motion slant routes, using things like drag drag routes, using things like um, post routes if you have a tight end apprentice. And I actually highly recommend having tight end apprentices because they're super, super versatile uh, types of players to be able to use. Using things like wheel routes and using like flat routes to open wheel routes, which you saw me do on my last drive. Different things like that that you might not normally think to do um, are super, super effective. Motion slants. We all know how effective, um, if you don't know, curls are really really effective this year they beat man and they beat zone coverage so things like that are super important having routes on your every single play that will be able to beat every single coverage to me is one of the secret things that is really really important uh, that high level madden players do naturally that like modest beginner players might not think to do they might not know to do so i would highly encourage you to begin trying to learn the effective routes and there's no better way to learn the effective routes than learning the most effective offense in Madden 21, which is my New England Patriots offensive ebook. And if you're interested in picking that ebook up, there is a link in the description of that. And that's where we literally teach you the most powerful and effective routes in Madden 21. 100% hands down, you will dominate on the offensive side of the ball if you use that ebook. I guarantee it. Um, it is truly the best offense. Almost every single pro player in the Madden uh, challenge uses some type of uh, principles that originated with the New England offense, whether it be the U trips, whether it be the trips tight end, whether it be the bunch, the split close, the ace slot offset has the most effective formations, the ace close, all kinds of stuff that is really, really effective. So if you want to pick that ebook up, I I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. Um, it's a full fledged ebook where I literally break down all of it. I break, it's not just trips tight end, it's not just U trips, it's trips tight end, it's gun bunch, it's all of it, ace close. Um, Pretty much everything that you can do from New England. It's, we've got over 300 pages in this ebook that literally break down step by step how to run the best offense in Madden. So I would highly encourage you, if you have not picked it up, maybe you've considered picking it up in the past, to go ahead and pick up that ebook. But other than that, guys, we're going to be streaming later on tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time where you can see me run this offense live. It is darn near impossible to stop. So I would highly encourage you um, to come by. But if you do these five, things, I really believe you're going to take your offense to the next level in Madden 21.